Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, jumping straight into this. Let's see. Uh, today, after a little bit of a break over the weekend, uh, I wanted to start this episode off with uh, breaking down the Void or Miner Tier 3 and upgrading it to a Tier 4. So let's see. Let me switch this out. I'll grab this bad boy and let's vein mine this away. Clear structure panels, the null modifiers. Get these guys going. All right, lasers. Cool. And there we go. Whoop little holes in here but the I, I love the way anti blocks look I really do I really love it uh, so let's not waste any time uh, I set up some crafting recipes let's see if I can pull this off properly so we need the tier 3 let's do the tier 4 first void or minor tier 4 all right so we need the uh, block of diamond. What? What is that? What did I just click on? Okay, block of diamond. Block of diamond, please. Thank you. And let's go into... <laughs> wow, hey, Rob the Tum Tum. You're in here cr really quick after I logged in. Cool, it's like you're waiting for me to log in. That makes me feel special, believe it or not. Oh, I don't want to mess up and make pavers now that I'm <laughs> got dis distracted. Uh, Pladium. There we go. I need six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that. And if I drop the void ore. Yeah, there we go. Tier four. So we got that. We got the power cell. We have the ender chest. And now... For the moment of truth, let's see if I can make this work. So I wrote it down on my lunch break. I need a total of 12 null modifiers. So I have eight. Did I make null modifiers in a crafting recipe? I did not. So I'll make manually make these four. Um, okay, so I need four of the interconnect. I'm pretty sure I made interconnect as a pattern. I hope this works. I'm still learning how this works. Instead of making the uh, black concrete, I'm making the modifier components so that I don't have to deal with water. Uh, I hope I think it worked, and it was just really fast. Maybe because they're instant crafts. Yeah, cool. So it did work. So we need these for null modifiers. We got our 12. Okay, we need 56 structure frame tier fours. So they're all tier threes. So let's see if I did this pattern correctly for tier four. We need a total of 56. Emeralds. What do I need emeralds for? And why do I only have 26 emeralds? Uh, the reason why I'm surprised is because of this. <laughs> emeralds for days. So let's see if I can pull this off without the computer lagging into oblivion. I do this with charged Certus from time to time. And I'll switch out for the wand. And... There's 
Still going? Jeez, how many did I pull? Okay. Um, I'm not gonna risk doing more just in case it it'll potato my computer. But I'll pull up my Fortune three pick and let's go. Whoa. Cool. A great way to get experience too. Uh, since I have uh, the uh, well-established modifier on my pickaxe from doing the osmium binding, uh, it gives me additional experience when I mine and connect combine that with vein miner, and it gives you crazy experience. And I'm not sure. I think blocks uh, like diamond and emerald. I think they might, uh, yeah, you think I have enough emeralds now? <laughs> I think they might give additional experience then. So let's drop these emeralds. And all of these emeralds I did get from the void ore miner, just letting it do its thing. And uh, just to make perfectly clear, I leave my computer on. Uh, when I go to work uh, So the void ore miner does it's putting in eight hours while I'm putting in eight hours if you if we can put we can say it that way So let's see how many emeralds do I have now? Uh, yeah, I'm I think I'm fine now. I have a full stack uh, Let me do this too Let me grab a storage upgrade an emerald storage upgrade to celebrate and let's go to the emeralds. We got them here, emerald and diamonds. Storage upgrade, and now it's broken the cap. Nice, okay, so emeralds aren't a problem. Uh, let's see, we can do those structure frames now. Structure frame, tier four, 56. Before I hit the button, 56, yes. Next, and start. Did I have JEI synchronized standard keep? Oh, look at that. Before I could even uh, switch over to keeping it, 56. So the crafting pattern did work, and I'm really excited that I got that to work. We need a total of 56 structure panels. We have 52. So did I put structure panels? Structure frame, machine structure. Oh yeah, there it is. It's clear, it looks like it's grayed out, but, but I've made the clear ones because I like the clear ones. We need four more, 56, four. Looks like we got all the stuff we need for that. That's 56, cool. Five laser cores. I did not put laser core as a crafting recipe because I was trying to save space with the uh, ME interfaces and molecular assemblers that we have going on right now. Uh, in the future, I'm gonna go crazy with molecular uh, assemblers and ME interfaces. Just right now, I'm not, I'm running on one ME controller, but I have one thing that uh, I'm planning on doing uh, in a couple of episodes, I'm going to upgrade the ME system and turn it into a uh, like a central nervous system. I'm going. I learned enough about P2P channels and how they work to do uh, an ME system that is going to use eight ME controllers and all of the faces uh, that are. Are, are, are available I'm going to use with P2P channels so it's a project that I'm going to build but after I get back to doing titanium so we need one more laser core because we need five and then uh, where did my my lens go oh no I used the I used my actual lens when I upgraded the uh, the void ore miner so I need to make a new lens Whoops. So I don't remember what color. I don't remember what color we should use. So let's do clear. Um, let's see what the next crystal is. 
Let's do void or. Oh no, I need to write up here. Void or minor tier four. And then we're gonna hit U on it to see the use. And then let's see, it makes these guys ionite. So we're gonna go with light blue. And so let me see, do I have any light blue? I do not have any light blue dye. Light blue dye. Okay, lapis and bone meal, that's easy enough. And I'll drop one of you in here. Now go away. And I'll put the laser lens in here and make it a light blue laser lens. Cool. So 12 null modifiers. 56 structure frame tier fours. 56 clear structure panels. Five laser cores. And one laser lens, which I'm doing light blue. Nice. Now let's go put this bad boy back together. Uh, I, I th I'm pretty sure, at least I'm hoping, that uh, when I looked up the tier four, it's the same width as the tier three. So I'm really hoping that uh, it'll fit in the same exact space. Uh, if not, I'll have to knock out the walls a little bit more. Um, and of course, I need to make sure that it's also four up. So we got one, two, three, four. Let me do five. Is it? Oh, I don't know if it's taller though. So let me do five just to be safe. And then let me hit assemble on it. Oh no, not there. I need to do before I make this mistake again. Grab you. Oh, did you not? Did you decide not to go into my inventory? Okay. Are you not mining? Is it because I'm flying? Uh... What? Okay, it's not mining, but please work with the assembler. No, not that. Okay, thank you. Where did you go? Are you in my inventory? Where did you go? <laughs> Why, game? Where did you go? Okay. Alright, let's do this one more time without me freaking out. One there, one there. One, two, one, two. Let me do five up. Okay. Let me remove the modifiers out of the way. And let me check. We're still running on 12, 5, 1, 56, and 56. Okay. And let's hold right click. See, it says assembled false for right now. Let's see, are you making it down to the ground? Or do you need to be up one more? It looks like it needs to be, yeah. So this, good thing there's a hole here. It needs to be down one more. So now I know that uh, I can just straight up use this. So we need to go up one more. Please don't fall into the hole. Wee! Good thing I got a jetpack. Wee! It does look like it's faster to just vein mine this stuff. So let me do this, this, and that, and that, and assembler. Let me, let me make sure the hole is plugged up, right? Yeah, okay. Let me grab you. Thank you for 
detaching this time. And I need one more that. And let's shred the ceiling just a little bit more so that I can get up here. Void ore miner. Up one more. Cool. Vein mine. No modifiers. Before I do anything. 12, 56, 56, 5, and 1. Good. I have not figured out how to turn hover mode on. That's why I'm holding spacebar. I'm planning on building an angel ring though. Not building, making one. But I keep getting sidetracked with cool stuff I want to do. And I'm also thinking about moving the Void Ore Miner outside so that I can attach a solar array to it. Because uh, when you attach speed upgrades to this guy, it turns into a power hog. That looks good, right? Yeah, that looks good. Symmetrical. That is more than enough room now. Okay, let me go on top of the unit then. Whoop, let me try one more time. On top of the unit and right click. Oh, there's a cooler view too. Assembled true. Let me see. Can I do this again? Uh, uh, uh. True. Cool. Awesome. I'm really happy. And I'll make some more anti-block and uh, fill in these holes to make it look pretty. And there's a hole here I can see through, and that looks weird. But neat. It's a little bit bigger, but it uses almost the same amount of blocks. Let's put the power back on. What's great about these is it saves, it keeps the linking card and it keeps the, uh, what's it called? You know, that all sides are set to output. It keeps that as well. Ender chest down. Did I, oh no, I forgot. I was about to ask, did I get the dinger to uh, the void ore miner? But check this out. My quest book corrupted, I think. Wah, wah, wah. So yeah, I got a quest book corruption. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to fix this. I honestly don't know how to fix this. Uh, I was confused and I clicked around and I, I did this quest. Uh, hopefully that won't mess up any kind of fixes in the future. Uh, but I've read up on it like I might have to go into cheat mode. I might have to uh, then click all of the ones I've done already and re uh, Resubmit them and get them to work, but they they're all gone uh, But I'll try to figure that out. I definitely want to figure it out before I upgrade the void or miner again because uh I don't want to upgrade and then not ever get that quest because I went up a tier. But also, this episode, on top of upgrading to the Void or Miner tier 4, which should now be working, let's see if there's already, yeah, we already have Ionite Crystals. See? That's cool. I love that it works. We have Ionite Crystals. Uh, I'm also planning on... Uh, Oh, I've got some random emeralds in there. I'm also planning on uh, making the Void Resource Miner Tier 1 today because I would like to get some mica. And with the mica, I'll be able to make speed upgrades, which uh, will make it use more power. But what's great is the 100k coming out of the power cell is more than enough, even with max speed upgrades, even at max tier 6 from the, the math I've done. Uh, 
the only thing that um, is difficult is getting the mica in the first place, which the only way you can get the mica is by making the uh, resource miner. So let's see what we need for the resource miner. I wrote those down today too. Let's see, void resource, void resource miner tier one. What do we got? We, we have the obsidian, congratulations. Let's grab uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We should have more than enough lith right now because all of the void resource or void ore miners that we've been making has been also making lith right. Uh, we need another laser lens. So let me just do it manually, glass, in an H. Got that. Void resource. We need to make another one of these diodes, which this is the pain in the butt right here. But what's great is mana infused has been pumping out of the uh, iridium reinforced plate. Mana, re yeah, mana infused uh, ore has been getting pumped out of the uh, void ore miner like crazy, so we don't have to worry about that. What do we have from this? We're missing the four sides of the diode. An empowered void crystal block. Uh, should should not be that difficult. Basalt, black iron, black quartz, and a void crystal. So let's see, void. Oh, too bad we got six. Uh, and we have 12 and we have one. I'll make that. Black quartz and black iron, black iron, and black quartz and basalt and ink sack. I always misspell ink. There we go. Is that everything we need? Void resource. Diode. Empowered. That. Black iron. Basalt. Black quartz. Void crystal. Ink sack. And I'll hit backspace. We need two mana infused gears as well. So let's see, do I have mana infused gear? Ge let's see, gear. I do not have mana infused set on gears yet. So let's make a cool pattern for it real quick. I'll get rid of that and I'll do mana infused gear in the press. I need to set the pattern to processing. Mana infused, let's try one more time. Get rid of that. This is the gear, and we'll put it in the interface where the gears are. The first ones I put down manually so that I knew which one was which. So there's my gears. And let's see, now I can do mana infused gears, and let's do two, please. And start. And. There's two. Congrats to me. Void. Resource. I wish I had a better memory so that I could remember the items that I'm missing. Uh, oh yeah, and I, I, I almost filled up on UU matter, so I just made a stack of iridium. <laughs> uh, we need advanced alloys, which are mixed metal ingots. Make a stack of those. I can make eight. Wonderful. What was what I, what I was missing? Mixed metal ingots. The middle one is bronze. Okay, bronze. Plate. Do I have bronze set to bronze? I do not. Let's do bronze. No that clear bronze plate in the metal press plus we'll get rid of that we'll make a pattern cool and then yeah like i was starting to run out of space for the uh the metal press see i'm running slowly running out of space i'll move, put that one here i attached another me interface on all four of the machines so eight channels are being used now but it gives me an extra row which up here yeah, I have the extra rows 
So now, because I have a lot of gears and a lot of plates that I need to do. So here's more more uh, ME interfaces for more plates. And let's do some bronze plates. Let's do 10. And that's good for next time. Let's go to, no, we need to go to IC2 so we can have these go through the compressor. We only need, what, two? There we go. Oh, and while we're here. Ink sack. Basalt. Void. Black quartz. Black iron. And laser beams. Ooh, the blue laser. I like it. Cool. So this will go off. Let me go grab the... The compressed... Whatchamacallit? The... Yep. The advanced alloys. Sweet. This thing needs to go off. And let's look at the diode one more time. Because my memory is terrible. I think we got everything now. Yeah. We got everything. We just need to wait, wait for this thing to pop. Uh, which, it's getting enough power, right? Hmm, it's not doing that great. It's probably because it's attached to only one of these Californiums. Like, it's not attached to the main line. It's attached to just one of the Californium RTGs that I have running the UU matter for right now, because I'm being lazy. How much do impulse item ducts do? Eight thousand? Eight thousand. That's really bad. It does eight thousand and it's only getting seven hundred and fifty. So I'm going to let this thing keep going while I mess around a little bit, but I'm pretty sure like, it's still going to finish before uh, I connect this. You done? No. You done? No. You done? No. Ooh. What is this? What did I do here? That guy doesn't need to be there, and that guy doesn't need to be there. Are you done? No. And what cable am I going to use? Mm, should I use my super expensive Ender ones? They're not super expensive. I'm exaggerating. Are you done yet? No. There. I really don't want it connecting over here. Can Ender not connect? Oh no, I definitely don't want to rewire all of it. Well, at least I can reach it, right? That one, there. I'm gonna have to do this anyway. that ironwood oh it's probably my border um hmm, hmm, hmm. i can make more of these cables off camera there's that connected that 
That's connected. Oh no, I didn't want to go that high. Go low. So that I can hide this cable. There, now you're connected. And how are you on power now? Hmm. Extract. Always active. Definitely is getting power. I'm surprised this thing isn't done yet. Jeez. Huh. Well, what I can always do is I can always knock out all of the cabling, get all the cables back, and then put a power cell under it dedicated. Because I have more than enough power generation now because of the mechanism a fusion reactor that we built together. And uh, power cells are dirt cheap for me to make. Just I have this feeling that if I teleport away and start working on a power cell, that this will finish right after. I need to get one of those wireless crafting terminals so that I can craft while looking at this. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to make a power cell. I'll grab a linking card and grab one of you. And I'll grab one of you. And I'll grab four of you. Ugh. I'll grab a bunch of you. I need three more of you. And I need one of you. And did I did I did I make it? What? Oh. What? Oh, wrong floor. What? Oh, what? Oh. What's faster? Ah, oh, it's done. I knew it. <laughs> There's the empowered void ore. And let me put this here so before I forget. Since I was planning on doing this anyway. No, that one needs to be there. So this has to be there. And then I'll just put down the this guy here. And I'll do the linking card and I'll do output on all sides. I just wiped the linking card. Unlinked. Okay. Normally shift works. I don't know why it didn't work. And it is the IC2 floor. Oh, let me look and see what... Okay, you, you matter. I'm going to hit stop now, and I'm going to take the iridium. I made it another stack because I was going to run out of that. And linking card. Here, please. There we go. That's a lot of juice. What was that? Let me use my thumb. Cover three, three. 120 million just popped in. Very nice. That should be better, and now I can take, if I can get out, thank you. I'll take these cables with me. I can't vein mine ender cables. Nope, can't vein mine ender cables. All right. Cool. So this is done. I'll fix this hole later. It's not a priority for me. These guys should have more than enough power for future episodes. I'll put these cables back in here. I got I can't stand those cables. I can't stand flux duct. I really can. But just because I have so many problems with flux duct anything messing up. Void. Oh no, let's go straight to the diode. There we go, diode, and now we can make the iridium plate, and we can make the, those, that should, 
be everything. Yeah, diode. Nice. I'll put it here just in case. Resource. Void resource miner. Where are the bottom two? Did I not make six? That's weird. There we go. Void resource miner. Am I doing something wrong? Letherite. What? Weird. Must be a must be lag. Void resource. Void resource miner. What? Am I, what am I doing wrong? Oh, interconnect. Duh. Interconnect. We'll make two of these. Two of these. Good. Now, void resource. Minor tier one. There we go. And keep these seared bricks out of the way. Void resource miner tier one. Cool. So we're also going to need 24 structure frame tier ones. Structure frame tier one. Let's do 24. I have enough. Perfect. Do 24 structure frame tier ones. Nice, I love how quick it works. We also need 20 structure panels. Nice. 20 structure panels, nice. We need two laser cores. Nice, two laser cores, and we need another laser lens. So let's do glass, and we'll get rid of that, and we'll do this in an H. And then I already looked up mica, it require, it needs white. White laser lens is what's great for mica. So we'll make it, we'll turn this laser lens into a white laser lens. We got that going. And then while we're at it, I wanted to make the tier one solar array as well. Uh, solar array. So that we, when I fix the quest book, we can get the dingers for these as well. So the solar array tier one is lapis block, litherite blocks, and then one of the solar cells. So let's see, solar cell. It looks pretty simple. Interconnect, redstone, photovolactic. Okay, we can make that. That looks like a solar cell would be only two crafts. So let's make the patterns for it together. Solar cell. We'll go with this one. We need to change it to pattern mode. We need a pattern for this item and we need a pattern for this item. And then let's see the solar array. Should we do these manually? I'm pretty, let's, yeah, let's do these. Let's do the arrays, the void resource and the void ore. Let's make them manually. But now we can make the uh, solar panels, the solar cells. And let's find a slot in the molecular assembler for this here and here. And let's see if we can make cells now. Solar cell. Yeah, craft. We need nine of them. So we'll do 10 minus one. 
We got enough. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Actually, we need ten because that one, the solar array needs one. And then the lithorite solar array. We need four lapis blocks. One, two, three, four. Which I, I should already have because I have them in a compacting drawer. Uh, we need four more lithorites, which maybe we I, I accidentally made too many. We got six, yeah, because I made too many when I was derping about the interconnect solar array. And nice, there we go, solar array. So that's the solar array. We also need four null modifiers for the solar array. And we need four more interconnect then. And one, two, three, four. Next, start. Four. Null. Which these I'm going to really enjoy upgrading because I've, I've never worked with the solar array before. So let's see, we have 24 structure frame tier ones. That's what we need for the structure frame, for the void resource miner tier one, 20 clear structure panels, two laser cores, and we need a white laser lens, which we got. We need for the solar array, we need the solar array, of course. We need nine solar cells, we need four null, and we need another 16 structure frame tier ones. Structure frame tier ones, we need 16. 16, do we have enough? Ah, see, we're missing signalium and we're missing aluminum brass. We only need 26. Signalium, I don't remember what uh, in the structure frame tier ones requires signalium. Is it the interconnect, right? The connectors require signalium. Let's see if I have, I think I have it in my additionals bag. I have the destabilized redstone right here, and then it should be copper. Let's see, should I, can I make pulverized copper? Where's the dust? Pulverized copper in the Crusher. Oh man, there's so many. This one. Thermal foundation. Need to change it to processing. Copper. I hope it's a good time to bring me tea. <laughs> Trend bringing me tea. Hello, stream. Always bringing tea. <laughs> With a cat on your shoulder. Oh, the cat on my shoulder is a necessity. What you working on? Can you explain it to me? Oh, what I'm, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm always happy to have you here. Uh, I'm trying to do a pattern real quick for pulverized copper. So I had to switch this to processing pattern, and then I have the pulverized copper. That cat's quickly running away. <laughs> we got the crusher, and it has like all of these different kinds of uh, the forestry, the ex nihilo copper. I okay. have to find the right copper, which we're using thermal foundation. I'll make a pattern for it. And I have to go into the uh, the interface terminal and find the elite factory that we built and put it in there. So now... Oh, that's cool that it makes it look like the item. Yeah, and now when I have stored and craftable selected, I have no powders. But now I can click here and I can do like, let's say 100 and hit start. And then you can hear it downstairs because it's right under us. You know, the storage facility has the basement, and there they oh, are. Oh, that's cool that you can hear it. And they're all coming in right there. This is all so fancy. Yeah. And then I think it was copper and it was silver. So let's see if I have silver. I don't have silver either, so I need to make a pattern for that as well. So we'll go pulverize silver, and we'll find the... What was that? Was Crusher? That the, uh... That's the cockatrice downstairs. He's, he's guarding the ME system downstairs. 
He seems like if he didn't look like a chicken, he'd be really cool. That's true. <laughs> it's thermal foundation. We made a pattern for this guy. Yeah. And we can put that in here. Yes. And now I can make silver right here. I'll make a hundred of that. And let me grab that. So it goes at the same time, basically? No, the copper's already done. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I made a hundred of that. And now let me see if this works. Yes. Because I found Signalium. out, yeah, because the Signalium blend, the JEI shows that it's it requires a bucket of redstone, but my massive ah, tank, you have a, I have 80 buckets of, of of in there, so this, I can use the bucket. There you go. 64, 64, and 4. That's all of them. It seemed like a lot of work to you. Suddenly is suddenly seamless. is 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 not that hard anymore. Let's see. I need to induction smelter with sand. Let me grab a stack of sand. Let me actually grab three stacks of sand. I'm go to thermal. And here, check this out. And let me tick accelerate. There we go. I like the piano music. Oh. Look at how fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's satisfying to watch. It is. I love it. So there's the signalium that was missing. Does it still use the time even if you don't have anything going in there? Yeah. Well, yeah, like it, it goes for 30 seconds. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we have that now and that. And I'm going to keep that on me. And I was making structure frame... And I forgot what I needed structure frame. I needed 16. Okay, well, oh, you're being fancy as heck, as usual. Enjoy your tea. Enjoy your cat. Thank you. Enjoy your stream. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the lovely trend. Let's see, aluminum brass. I'll make the 11 aluminum brass. And then I think we'll be at the hour mark. Aluminum brass is induction smelter, copper, and aluminum. I could have done that while we were there. Copper. And one of these days I'll get one of the uh, one of those really cool uh, gorilla arms for the microphone, so I don't have to keep reaching around it. <laughs> No, I need aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum brass was a... It was three to one. So I need two more of these. And let's go back to thermal. And I'll tick accelerate before I click. There and there. And there, and there, there. That's weird. I could have, yeah, there it is. I just got mixed up on there. Cool. And now, structure frame tier one, 16. Next, start. Four, five, six, seven, nice. And I'll put you back in here where you belong. I got 16 here. What is this? Structure frame tier threes. I have three, I have nine tier threes for some re weird reason. I don't know why. Twenty-four. Oh, okay. It separated them. I got confused. All right. So, in the efforts, I know I want to put this guy out here somewhere. Where would be a cool place to have the resource miner going? Let's see. So 
somewhere visible so we can see how cool it is. It'd be weird to have it outside of this awesome building. Got Thomcraft, we got IA Immersive Engineering. Man, while I'm hopping around here, let me check one thing. I really need to make this. What is it? Block of Ender Pearl, Ender Casing. What is that? Block of Black Quartz. That's a lot of Empowered Diamantines. Oh, I don't have two. Empower Diamantine, Enores, now. Of course not. Mana Diamonds. Mana Diamonds. I don't have access to Mana Diamonds because I skipped Batania. But yeah, I want to make a Teleport Staff. And I have a little bit of it. I just need to make more of the... Uh, Empowered Diamantine Crystals. I've got one Ender Casing, Block Ender Pearl. I'll put that on in there for right now, so yeah. I got two pieces of it. I need to make a single battery. Let's see, do I have... I don't have that. I got one of those. Definitely need to put these batteries on Autocraft. Single battery. Cool. So yeah, I need to make more diamantine crystals. I can make those off camera. And then uh, next stream I can make another ender casing and I'll have a leftover one and we'll have a teleport staff. That would definitely help me because uh, I can't stand how fast the jetpack goes up and how fast I can fall but how incredibly slow it goes forward. So with the teleport staff, I'll be able to jump, I think, a hundred blocks at a time by right clicking. So yeah, we were looking for a place to uh, put the void resource miner, somewhere visible. Maybe I'll put it right back here, just for now. Uh, I need to grab the null modifiers and I'll go up. Should I just put it on top of this thing? I don't think Trinal Mind. One, and then one, two, three, and the Void Resource Miner I will put here. And I'll Vine Mine that. And did I get rid of the my wand? Yeah. I will jump on top. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Whoa, whoa. Okay. And let's put this thing together. Assembled false true there we go assembled true so now we have the resource miner tier one and I'll make this look pretty too and I'll I'll see oh like actually that is a pretty good distance from the building that was a really good guess that was a really great guess good eye on me and then what I wanted to do was let's see if this works I haven't this is my first time ever making a solar array, so let me see if this works. Upside down. And can I do this? Yeah! Neat! Still says assembled false. This one is assembled true. This one is assembled false. What am I missing? It looks assembled to me! The what a... Where are the null modifiers? Where do the null modifiers go? Dude. The null modifiers are gone. Or did I leave them on the hot bar? I did. Duh! There. So now... There we go. So, assembled true. Assembled true. Nice. Is that still a good distance from the building though? That looks good. I like it right there. 
actually do like it right there. I'll clean up the ground around it. Oh, let me change to day. Because that now, now the solar cell is going to make power. Why is my engineer's hammer just out here? It's so weird. Just random stuff. And then switch back to this. I need to organize this hotbar thing. I'm still getting used to the secondary inventory. Nice. So this is now the power for the void resource miner. It's not going to work because I need to do a skeleton over there. Um, let's see. I'm right here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I know. Don't dig straight down. If I see lava, I'm totally hitting spacebar. I have a jetpack. It'll be fine. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see. Why level 25? 20. 15. Through two. And bedrock. And laser beam. Oh, right in the eyeball. <laughs> okay. And I don't need the fly. Let's just teleport. There we go. Oh, that actually hurt my eyes. So this homeboy is powered up. Firing its laser. I'm firing my laser. And it's a, a nice white beam. I'll fill all of this in and I'll make it look pretty. I'll probably make more of the anti-block because I really do like that. But uh, as far as I know, like I'm still going to upgrade the resource miner because of the quest dingers. Uh, but as far as I know, this is enough. Like that's enough power from the solar array to run this guy during the day. And I only need like a handful of mica to be able to make the uh, speed and accuracy modifiers. Let's see. Oh, I need to attach attach an ender chest to it at least. So let's go chest. Ender chest would be more specific. And one, two, three, because I'm going to try to squeeze something in at the last second. One, two, three. Thank you. And then let's go with purple, because I love purple. Do I have any red? Die? I don't have any red dye. I have poppies, right? Yeah. So I'll use red and blue for purple. A lot of purple, thank you. And I don't really need to teleport, I can just run. So the white, 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 I'm going to attach here. Going in. I have ionite crystals. And uh, I'll babysit this thing for a little bit off camera, and I, I'm pretty sure this thing is working. It looks like, yeah, it's got a full power buffer, so it should be working. Uh, I'll babysit it a little bit and celebrate when the first mica comes out. The other thing that I wanted to do real quick, because I don't want to dedicate entire episodes to like the small things that I'm doing, is I'm going to do... Oh, actually, I need a third ender chest then. I was going to do this. And I was going to, so yeah, I need a third ender chest. Yes. Let's see if I can go under. I'm going to grab item conduit. And... 
there and there. But I'm going to grab the Yetta Wrench. I've never used the Yetta Wrench, so let me see. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Can I do... Okay. So this will be extract out of which will be purple extract active without signal insert active without signal brown extract so maybe I can oh no now I'm turning it there <laughs> I'm gonna have to break it. <laughs> Wait, I can use the, the Yada Ren shift? Yeah, okay. And then I'll put the grass back before I forget. And I will put, so I only need one. And then I'll do this again. So this will be purple and it'll be extract without signal. This one will be insert without signal extract on brown without signal and insert on brown without signal so this will be the purple ugh. okay this will be the purple chest purple 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 that'll be the purple chest and it will be extracting on green and it'll go in, it'll insert on green, but then it'll, after it does the repurposing, it'll extract on brown, and it'll into the white insert on brown. Back into this one, which then it'll sort. See, Podzil, Cyan Terracotta, the void resource miner is working. That's all I wanted to check. It is working. And then I need to make one more and quickly be done. I need to make one more ender chest. Make one more of these, and I'll make one more of these. And now I'm going to go to mechanism and do this real quick. Well, I cleaned up the cables just a little bit. I'm going to put the new ender chest next to this one. And this will be purple, purple, purple. And let's see if I can get this to work. We have tough alloy boots that are fully repaired because it's cycling here. Put it into purple. Go back to immersive. They're not going in. I could have sworn that's the block. Right? Tough alloy boots. You're not going in. So, okay, so auto insert didn't work. I was hoping the auto, like, just dump stuff from over there into here and it'll dump in here and then dump back out. This one is set to extract. It should extract out of this drawer, but it's not. So I'll have to learn. This was input on, is on top. Okay, let me see. Is there a space in between here? Thank you, rub, rub the tum tum. I didn't want to go too far over an hour, but I don't want to put too much of this. <laughs> Let's see. These dots? Are these two dots the ones you're talking about? I was hoping that because I can click the bottom that it works. So let me try this. Just to make it look nice. No, I don't need to go that far. 
I'm hoping then the that I can export out the bottom. Let's see. Extract without signal. Insert without signal. That went in. So that did work. Cool. And now. Oh, so maybe the other side. This is. I was hoping to go really quick at the end of this episode. This is turning into a fiasco. <laughs> here. Trying to be quick. There, there, there. And extract without signal. Insert without signal. Can I reach? The, yeah. And let's test it. Yeah, there's the tough alloy. Now can I Extract without signal, insert without signal, and there it goes. <laughs> cool. So yeah, now I can throw armors in from uh, from the the mob farm because that's been driving me crazy. I've been thinking of how how can I get it to cycle. So maybe maybe I'll mess with this some more and I'll put an extract here into the ender chest so that it'll auto but I don't know like what happens when stuff gets stuck. I have nested filters going on right now. But at least right now from what I'm hoping I can pull it out here. The ones that do pop drop them in here. They're gone. Let's go see. And yeah, there it goes. Cool. So it is working, and uh, we got our first piece of mica. That's that's great too. And uh, I'm very grateful to Rub the Tum Tum. I'll give you credit for helping me figure out the arc furnace. That was really exciting. I didn't think it was going to be difficult, but uh, everything I'm doing is the first time I've done it. So like I'm not a veteran. Everything I'm doing is is me learning and trying things out. So thank you for helping me with the arc furnace and thank you everyone else for watching and tune in tomorrow.